Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Infiniti QX4, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tool seen here to complete this installation. So we're gonna be in the cargo area for our install. Our trailer wiring harnesses will be connecting to our vehicle's tail light harnesses. So we're gonna need to get behind these panels. So let's start by pulling up on the flooring. Next, we're gonna remove our rear threshold panel. It's held in by six screw-in push pins. So we're gonna use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen it up, and then we'll use a trim panel removal tool to remove it. Now we're gonna pull up on our panel, and we're just gonna set it up there. Now on the driver's side, we're gonna pull up on this liner, and we're just gonna fold it to the side, and we're going to remove this cargo hook right here. It has this little cap on the front. You're just gonna find the tab, and we're gonna pop off that cap using our trim panel removal tool. And that exposes a Phillips screw, and we're gonna go ahead and remove that. And then we're gonna repeat on the passenger side. So with our paneling open, you can see that there's a lot of wiring harnesses back here. Now we are going to connect to our tail light harness. So if you look behind all these, inside these openings, you can see the wiring where it comes out of the tail light from behind. If you're able to reach back there and unhook it, go ahead and do that. If not, you can go ahead and remove the tail light, which we're gonna do. It's held in by these two screws, and we're gonna remove it using a 10 millimeter socket. So to remove the tail light, there's two clips back here. It's just gonna pull straight back. So using a trim panel removal tool, we'll go ahead and remove those. Now we're gonna remove this grommet and this will give us access to our vehicle's tail light harness. So we're gonna disconnect this by pushing down on this tab right here. And we'll set this aside for later. So now we're gonna take our tail light harness, we're gonna push it in and then we'll reach back and we'll pull it out through our opening here. Now we're gonna take our T-connector with the yellow and the brown wire, and we're gonna plug that into our driver's side tail light harness. Now we're gonna take the other end and we're gonna push it behind this opening and we're gonna bring it through where our tail light is connected. Now we're gonna take our driver's side tail light and we're gonna plug it back in. And then we're gonna push our wiring back into our vehicle and we'll put our grommet back into place. And then we'll reconnect our tail light. Now we're gonna take the white wire with the terminal and we're gonna ground it right here on the driver's side on this existing ground. Now we're gonna take our T-connector with the green and red wire, and we're gonna route it to the passenger side and plug it into that tail light using the same instructions as we did on the driver's side. Now we're gonna take our four flat harness and we're just gonna leave it in the trunk area for now. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall our side panels. So let's show you your storage options for your four flat harness. You can leave it in your trunk and store it in this storage tray right here and just pull it out of your trunk when you need to use it or you can bring it underneath your vehicle and mount it next to your hitch receiver. Let's go ahead and show you how to do that. We're gonna pull up on this storage tray. We're gonna go ahead and remove this grommet. It's kind of tight, so we're gonna use our trim panel removal tool. So now we're gonna take our four flat harness and we're gonna push it through that hole. And this comes right above the spare tire. So 
So now we're gonna reinstall our grommet. To be able to fit it on with our wire going through, we're gonna cut a slit halfway through. And our wire is just gonna sit in that slit. So to make this look a little neater, we're gonna take our passenger side T-connector wires and we're gonna put it underneath that storage tray and it'll just rest on top of that to keep it out of the way. And now that we're done in our cargo area, we're gonna go ahead and put it back together. So now underneath our vehicle, we're gonna reach up over the spare tire and we're gonna pull down our four flat T connector. Now we're gonna bring it over the hitch and we're just gonna leave it here for a second. So we're gonna secure it using a four flat mounting bracket. This will keep it from dangling and accidentally getting damaged by hitting the ground. And this does not come with our kit, but you can pick it up at your closest U-Haul center or at uhaul.com. So we're gonna line it up at the bottom of our bumper right here. And using a 3 drill bit, we're gonna drill our first hole. And then we're gonna insert our first screw. And we're gonna secure that into place. And then we're gonna repeat on the second hole. And then we'll tighten it up using a 3 8 socket. Now we're gonna take our harness and we're gonna put it in our bracket. And we'll put the dust cover on. So that wraps up our install and now you're ready to tow a trailer. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or need more information about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.